highlighting Artemis with help from Hollywood, preparing to launch to the only laboratory in microgravity, and testing new lunar landing technology. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. NASA provided some technical expertise and imagery for 20th Century Fox's new film Ad Astra, a fictional space thriller starring actor Brad Pitt. While the film does not have a NASA storyline, we continued the collaboration leading up to its release by participating in activities to generate awareness about space and our Artemis program, the next step in human exploration. What are the repercussions on your body in zero G? On September 16th, Pitt stopped by our headquarters for a space to ground question and answer session with astronaut Nick Haig. They talked about a number of topics, including the work being done on the International Space Station. Some of the experiments we're doing here are technology demonstrations to prove out a concept that we hope to apply as we go back to the moon and as part of the Artemis program. In early September, we hosted Pitt during a tour of our Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. He received a boarding pass as part of the Mars 2020 rover mission's Send Your Name to Mars campaign. That mission is scheduled to launch next summer. We also participated in red carpet events with Pitt and other cast members of the film, which presented opportunities to not only highlight our efforts to return humans to the moon by 2024, but to also explain why. We're not just going to stay at the moon, though. We're developing the capability for an eventual mission to Mars. Human physiology is a big piece of that, and we've got to make sure we get that right for everybody to be safe. There's a real excitement for the possibilities, what we can learn about um, beyond what we can learn about ourselves. I think films like this just contribute to that. You can learn more about Artemis and our Moon to Mars exploration approach at nasa.gov slash Artemis. The next crew headed to the International Space Station, including our Jessica Meir, is conducting final training for its upcoming launch at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Mir, Alex Kropochka of Roscosmos, and spaceflight participant Haza Ali Amansuri of the United Arab Emirates are scheduled to launch to the station on September 25th. Our flight opportunities and game-changing development programs supported a test near our Armstrong Flight Research Center in California of a developmental vision-aided terrain relative navigation system. The system could help a future lunar lander target a desired landing location and know exactly where it is by using a camera and preloaded satellite maps that include unique terrain features. This was the first test of the system with both a descent altitude and a landing trajectory similar to what is expected on a lunar mission. A high-speed rocket sled test at California's Naval Air Weapons Station, China Lake, was used to test a new landing technology designed to avoid hazards and help perform extremely safe and precise landings on planetary surfaces. The technology, which is being developed by our Langley Research Center, uses laser beams reflected off the ground to help a sensor provide ultra-precise measurements that identify exactly how high a human or robotic lander is and how fast it is traveling. NASA has been recognized for Emmy Award-winning coverage of two space missions. Team multimedia coverage of Demonstration Mission 1 by our Kennedy Space Center, Johnson Space Center, and commercial partner SpaceX won an Emmy in the category of Outstanding Interactive Program. The March 2019 mission was an uncrewed test flight of SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft to the International Space Station. Meanwhile, an Emmy also went to our Jet Propulsion Laboratory in the Outstanding Original Interactive Program category for coverage including news, web, education, television, and social media efforts of NASA's InSight mission to Mars, which launched in May 2018. Congratulations to all for well-deserved honors. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov. twan